Welcome to another video marketing tutorial. I'm Ryan from Particle 80. Today I'm showing you the top three ways you need to brand your YouTube channel. Let's start with your channel icon or profile picture. It's your avatar across all YouTube features. You'll see this little image that's displayed next to your comments or in subscription lists like this. If this channel is for your company, it will most likely be your logo. When you create your profile photo, it should be 800 by 800 pixels and scaled so it can fit in a circle crop like this. To set your profile picture, go to your channel page and click on the icon. Click edit and upload your image. Adjust the scale and crop and you've just updated your profile picture. Next, I'll walk you through updating your channel art. It's like the wallpaper or banner on your channel page. The scaling and cropping is pretty complicated, so I'm going to show you how it works, then you'll be able to make an image that works for you. Okay, so in your template for your YouTube channel art, you're gonna start with a file that's 2,560 pixels wide by 1,440 pixels up tall. And this is going to be the aspect ratio that will show up on a TV if somebody's looking, watching uh, you, your channel on their smart TV or a gaming console, this is what it'll look like. And for a desktop one, it's gonna keep it the same width, but it's only going to show 423 pixels high. So when you're uh, putting in your channel art, because you can only uh, submit one channel art that has to work with all these different crops. So when you put an image there, if you're gonna put any text or logos, you're probably gonna to wanna to put it here. And then it's going to crop even more for mobile. So you'll see this yellow section is what displays for mobile when someone visits their channel on the YouTube app. So you still have the 423 pixels high, but you're only about 1500 pixels wide. So this is like your main safe area. When your image is complete, go to your channel page and click on your channel art. Upload your image, adjust the scale, and click save. Now you have a new channel art that looks great on every platform. Before I get to our last demo, I'll give you a chance to give this video a thumbs up and click in the lower right corner to subscribe. We're publishing a new video every week focused on industrial marketing and inbound marketing for manufacturers. Okay, so if you haven't guessed, our last branding component is the video watermark. It's the overlay that I just pointed out. It appears on all your videos and it is a great way to get new subscribers. For your watermark, you'll use your logo, but put it on a transparent background and export it in PNG format. It looks cleaner than having white borders or edges around your image. To set your video watermark, open the Creator Studio, go to Settings, Channel, Branding, and upload your icon. Click Entire Video for the display time, and now click Save. Now you've made your YouTube channel your own. We created a profile picture, channel art, and a video watermark for your company. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Protocol 80, and I'll see you next time.